Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's ignore my nails too. But today we're just going to do an everyday makeup tutorial kind of thing. Just like a little bit more simple. I feel like I don't really need that much on my eyes because I do have eyelash extensions. So um, even though they're falling out a little bit now. But yeah, so let's get into this. I... One of my guinea pigs just gave birth. She just gave birth to six guinea pigs. Six. Ugh. But anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, so I'm just going to tie my hair up because I like it out of my face. I've already moisturized my face. Oh, also make sure you subscribe. Ugh. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video because it really helps me a lot. I've already moisturized because my face is really, really dry. I have really, really dry skin, especially here and under my nose and sometimes even under my eyes. It depends on what foundation I usually use, but under my eyes, I get really dry. Now I'm just going to put this Fenty Beauty True Matte Pro Filter Mattifying Primer. Maybe just like two pumps. I wanted to try the more hydrating one but I'll use this first next um, I'm gonna just do my eyes first because if I stuff it up then I can take it off and it's okay like I haven't touched the rest of my face I'm just going to put a little bit of this makeup forever ultra HD stick foundation like over my eye area so this is in the shade Y225 use this and I'm just gonna go my eyelids to make them a little bit darker just like that I'm not gonna do a big like eyeshadow thing today I'm just gonna do like just kind of more an everyday thing um, and I'm gonna take this Mac brush let's just use this posted Tarte palette and we're gonna go in with the shade small I know just pat that all over my eyelid I'm just gonna put like a little bit of a, like a toasty vibe on my eye. And then we're gonna go in, I'm gonna mix two shades. I'm probably gonna mix latte and warmth together. So we're just gonna go like, just do a little tap off. And then I'm just gonna like shape, like just go towards the outside of my lid and up. And then into the corner, but I focus more on the outside first. Kind of like that. It's nothing crazy, it's just like gives me a little bit of colour and makes me look less dead. I'm just going to do the same thing to the next eye. I don't know why I stick my tongue out. Don't judge me. Okay, I mean that's kind of even, it's kind of even enough, you know? Like, we don't have to be perfect. Yeah, that's definitely enough. I mean, I didn't even want this much eyeshadow and now here we are. I might just, you know what, I might just blend it out. Blend it out a little bit. It's gonna look less bad when it's just because I'm so white right now. As soon as I put some foundation on, it'll be okay. I might put a little, like, a little bit of sparkle. Why not? So I'm just gonna go in with the candle shade. So I'm just gonna dab that in the center of my eyelid. Now I'm just going to do the same with the other eye. I just want to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to just take this um, cotton swab and just like clean up the edges and just get all the residue off. Residue off. I'm going to use this Stila Correct and Perfect, but I'm going to use like the yellow cream bit of it. But it's kind of just to kind of go on the edges and just make it look a little bit cleaner before we do some kind of faux eyeliner. Like that. Now we're just going to do the same to the other side and then I'll blend it out. Okay, so now we've done that. We're just going to like brush it out a bit. I like to brush it like kind of like out and down just to kind of blend it in. So I'm not really good at eyeliner, but when I do use eyeliner, I've been using this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof liquid eyeliner but what i have been liking to do at the moment is like a faux eyeliner which is like i just do it with eyeshadow and it kind of looks more smoky and it doesn't ruin my lashes as much that's the thing like i just don't like using liquid liner because i struggle to get it out of my lash line so i'm just using this james charles like morphe palette i'm gonna use the black color from there so so i'm just gonna use like a mixture a combination of spooky and 
I might even use the fireside shade from this palette, from this toasted palette. For this, I'm gonna use two different brushes. I'm gonna use this Morphe brush as like a thicker one. And I'm also gonna use this like thinner brush. This will be more for the wing, and then this will be more like to smoke it out in the middle. I'm gonna start with using this thicker brush and just getting the spooky shade. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like tap along my lash line like this. I'm not a big makeup person in general, to be honest. Like, unless I need to have makeup on, I won't. Because my skin used to be really, really bad. It still is bad, like, around here. Like, I still have some scarring and just, like, I have a red patch right here. You know what? Even though, like, my skin might not look good to some people, it's still a lot better than what it used to be. Like, like I would always have pimples on my face. And they weren't just regular pimples. They were really nasty, like, painful ones. Like, especially, I don't know, they were on my forehead for a bit and then all along my chin, my jawline, they were the most painful there. Like it was so, so bad, but I don't wear that much makeup anymore. And if I do, I'll be putting it on and wiping it straight off. Like even at competition, I, as soon as I do not need the makeup on, I wipe it straight off. Fully cleanse my skin after just because I hate the feeling of makeup on. I don't like it. I like the feeling of me in makeup, but I don't like it on, if that makes sense. Anyway, continuing with what I was doing and starting to bring it out. I suck at like picking a shape for eyeliner. Now I'm just going to take the thin brush so I can start doing the wing so I can brush it all out. So now I'm mixing the spooky color from the James Charles palette and the fireside from the toasted. Like so. And then I'll join it. Like kind of like that. I mean, you can make it thinner if you want. Kind of wish I didn't do that. Okay, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead on that eye. I don't know. Does that look weird to you? I'm just gonna do the other one like this, and yeah. Okay, I kind of regret doing eyeliner. I mean, this is, doesn't look very everyday of me. This looks like a wrecking. Now, we are going to move on to foundation. So I'm going to use two foundations. This is Fenty Beauty. This is also Fenty Beauty, but this one is the Soft Matte Longwear Foundation, and then this one is the Hydrating Longwear Foundation. This feels a little bit more dewy for my skin, and I like that, but just, you know, I just mix the both of them when I'm in between between shades, but I might mix it up a little bit just to give me a little bit more color. So I'm just going to put some of this on my face first. This is the matte one in shade 160. And I'm just gonna pump it out onto my face like that, like so. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of this one on just so I can be a little bit darker. Just like a few, because this one spreads really well. And I'm gonna mix anyway. So then I'm just going to use this big foundation brush again, the Morphe one, and just start blending. So that's it for the foundation part. Now I'm going to just quickly put some translucent powder on. Oh my god, my skin gets so itchy when... So I'm using the Makeup Forever. I'm going to tap it under my face. And down here. I'm just going to let that set for a bit while I do my brows. Alright, so for brows, I'm using this dip brow from Anastasia Baby Hills. This one looks like this. I'm using it in the shade Dark Brown. Yeah, I'm just using one of these brushes. I'm just going to put this on this. And then, then I'm just going to like go in like this. Not too much though. Um, and then bring it out. Basically just fill them in. Yeah, and I just do it till it looks something like that. I'm gonna do the other one and I'm gonna like brush them out a little bit and like shape them up nicely. Okay, so this is what they all look like. Now I'm just gonna brush them out a little bit. So they look like that. I'm just gonna like clean them up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go back in with the same brush that I use for my eyes. Go back in with the concealer and just outline under here and also the end of them. And yeah, 
just look like that. I don't do anything crazy like like really outlining them, but um, that's enough for me, I say. Um, next, we're just gonna put some powder foundation, do contour and highlight next. And I'm going to use the Kat Von D powder foundation in medium. I've used it so much, so I'm just gonna like pat this. Just put it all over my face. Okay, and then next I'm going to do contouring. So I'm just going to use this like kind of slanted contour brush. I'm going to use this little black book of bronzes by Too Faced. I'm going to use the milk chocolate soleil shade. So this one up here, the middle top and the chocolate soleil. So just like a little bit of both. Just like a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, then next we are going to highlight. So I've got just this fan brush and then I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dip Glow Kit. Let's use Moonstone today. So this one, right so I just pat it on the outside of my face and on my nose as well. And then I'm just going to take this little brush and I'm going to just do under my eyebrows and in the corner of my eye, I'm going to use the top shade, the summer shade. I never like to put eyeliner on the bottom of my lash line. Hate it. I do put like a little bit of dark eyeshadow underneath there and I feel like that gives a good vibe. I think I'm gonna do like more of the cozy shade. So this shade. I'm gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes so I don't need to put them on the top because I've got fake eyelashes. But I just have this Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Then I'm just gonna use a cotton bud to get the foundation off my lips. So I can put some lipstick on. Foundation is off the lips and I'm going to put some lip liner on. I think I've got this from Mecca. It's just lipstick queen, like visible lip liner in just beige. So I'm just gonna line my lips a little bit because I like to make them a little bit bigger up the top. Okay, little, little lip. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put some lipstick on. Where did the lip go? I'm gonna use the Kylie Matte Liquid Lip in Candy K. I'm just gonna spray my face with the Morphe setting mist. And yeah, that's my face. I'm going to just quickly dry off my hair and straighten it. I'll be back. Okay, so I lied. I didn't end up straightening my hair. I just kind of blow dried it because the way that I blow dried it with the product that I put into it kind of looks okay and I can't be bothered to straighten my hair because I'm not going anywhere. This is the finished look. If I didn't need lipstick like this, I would just use um, like a tinted moisturizer like this one. Like these Too Faced ones are really, really good. Uh, sorry, not tinted moisturizer, tinted lip balm. So yeah. Okay guys, so I hope you really liked this video. Let me know if you want to see more and what other stuff you want to see. And yeah, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Make sure you turn your little notification bell on so you don't miss a video. I hope you're staying healthy and safe. Have a great day. I'll see you next week.